Let's talk about oxidizing agents and reducing agents in the next series of questions. The oxidizing agent is that reactant that has been reduced and the reducing agent is the reactant that has been oxidized. For instance, in number one, solid nickel combines with gaseous chlorine to form a salt, nickel to chloride. Nickel in its natural state is a zero. Chlorine in its natural state is a zero. On the product side, they hooked by charge. Nickel went from a zero to a plus two. It is being oxidized. Therefore, it is the reducing agent. Chlorine was a zero, went to a minus one. It is being reduced. Therefore, it is the oxidizing agent. Remember, agents are always the reactants coming from the left side of the arrow. Never pick a product to call it a, an agent. Let's take a peek here. This looks like a single replacement pattern. Iron to nitrate with solid aluminum forms of iron and aluminum nitrate. I can clearly see the nitrates are the spectators. Iron started with a plus two charge, formed the element to a zero. Iron went from a plus two to a zero. It is being reduced. Therefore, it is the oxidizing agent. Remember to write the complete formula for the entire reactant. Iron 2 nitrate serves as the oxidizing agent. Iron was reduced from plus 2 to 0. Now look at aluminum. Aluminum with a 0 went to a plus 3. It is being oxidized, therefore it's the reducing agent. Elemental aluminum is the reducing agent. Number three also looks like a single replacement pattern, so I can tell that chloride is the spectator. Magnesium in its elemental form is zero. When it hooked to create the salt magnesium chloride, it went to a plus two charge. Lead started in the compound as a charged plus two and formed the elemental form of lead with an oxidation state of zero. Magnesium changing from a zero to a plus two is being oxidized. Therefore, it's the reducing agent. Elemental magnesium is a reducing agent. Lead with a plus two charge going down to zero is being reduced. Therefore, lead chloride is the oxidizing agent. And one more. Solid nickel assigned a zero. Elemental nickel is a zero. Over here, hooked by charge is a plus two charge. Since nickel is going from zero to a plus two, it is being oxidized. Therefore, we know nickel to be the reducing agent. Hydrogen and oxygen, well hydrogen's always a plus one, oxygen's a minus two. This looks to make nitrogen a plus five. Over here, it's gone to a plus four. If oxygen is a minus two, there's two of them there, that makes nitrogen a plus four. Nitrogen going from plus five to plus four is being reduced. Therefore, we have the oxidizing agent, HNO3. Clearly, making it simple, once I labeled the first reactant nickel as the reducing agent, the only other choice for the nitric acid was to be the oxidizing agent. Nitrogen moved from plus five to plus four, reduction, therefore we call it the oxidizing agent. Let's continue on balancing. We'll work out some simple redox reactions by the half reaction method. These are always a little complex, so I'm going to turn to a pencil. In my first half reaction, we have the permanganate ion, MnO4 negative, forming Nmn plus 2. In my second half reaction, we'll hook the methanol, CH3OH, to HCO2 H, and I notice we're in acidic solution. Step number one, 
divide them into two half reactions. Step two, balance everything that's not in H or an O. One MN, one MN, good. One carbon, one carbon, check. Now we move to balance the oxygens by adding water. In the first half reaction, I will add four units of water to get me four O's. In the second half reaction, there's two O's on the right, but a single O, so I'll add two more. I'll add one more water to give me a total of two oxygens. Two O's, two O's. We'll move to the hydrogen ions, adding protons in the acidic solution. In the first half reaction, there's eight units of hydrogen, so eight positive protons. On this side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six H's. On this side, there's two H's. That leaves me to add four more protons to the product side. Two plus four is six. Two plus four more is six. Now let's balance by charge. In the first half reaction, the net charge is plus seven. In the second of the you know second half of the first reaction, the net charge is a plus two. To the more positive side, I will add five electrons. Adding five negative charges brings both sides down to a positive two. The second half reaction, zero is the net charge on the left side, and over on the right side we have a plus four. To the more positive side, we'll add four negative electrons, bringing it down to zero to match the left. We'll distribute through to the first half reaction. I'll distribute a four, making the total of 20 electrons, and distribute a five through the second half reaction. I'll distribute and add back together at the same time. Four times five is twenty electrons, plus four times eight is thirty-two protons, plus four units of permanganate polyatomic ion, plus distributing a five, five waters, and five CH3OH, a molecule called methanol. Let's go to the right side, up top to the first one. Four MN plus twos plus four times four is sixteen waters plus five HCO2H and five times four is twenty electrons and five times four twenty protons. I don't know why I reversed that, sorry. Five units of the molecule, 20 electrons, 20 hydrogens, that looks correct. Now what can we simplify? Of course the electrons should cancel. How about the protons? 32 on the left, 20 on the right. Let's get rid of all 20 from the right hand side, giving me a remainder of 12 protons. How about the waters? There's five on the left. Let's get rid of all of those, giving me a remainder of 11 on the right. Please rewrite a clean answer just to help me grade faster. 12 protons plus four permanganates plus five methanols. There you go. Makes four manganese plus two ions, eleven waters, five organic acids, and that's it. Twelve H plus plus four MnO4 negatives plus five CH3OH forms four Mn plus twos 11 waters, and 5 HCO2H. Here's the second problem. 
still in an acidic solution. Dividing into two half reactions, As2O3 forms H3AsO4. Keep together the like elements. The nitrate ion goes to the molecular dinitrogen trioxide. We split into two halves. We then have to remember to balance everything that's not an H or an O first. So that's going to make me double the product side on the first half reaction to balance the AS arsenic. And it's going to make me double the reactant in the second half reaction to get the nitrogens to balance. Let's count the O's. 2 times 4 is 8 oxygens. So I'll add 5 waters. 2 times 3 is 6 oxygens. So I'll add 3 waters. Let's balance the H's. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. We need 4 more. Let's go to the second half. 3 times 2 is 6, none here, so we'll add 6 protons. Let's balance by charge. This side ends up to be neutral, it's 0. The product side is a plus 4. To the more positive side, we'll add 4 electrons, bringing it down to 0 to match the left. Let's move to the second half reaction. 6 positive protons with 2 units of a minus 1 give me a net plus 4. Over here is a 0. To the more positive side, we'll add 4 electrons to bring it down to 0 to match the right hand side. Notice the number of electrons lost does equal the electrons gained. So we do not need to distribute a coefficient as we did in the previous example. We add them back together and simplify. I can see the four electrons will simply cancel, so I'll leave them off. On the left, I have five waters. Diarsenic trioxide, six protons, and two nitrates, forming two arsenic acid H3ASO4, four protons, molecular dinitrogen trioxide, and three waters. What can we simplify? Well, I notice there's five waters on the right, excuse me, on the left, three on the right, so those can be eliminated, giving me a net of two. Six protons on the left, four on the right. We can eliminate these four, leaving me a net of two. So just to clean it up, making uh, a little bit easier to grade, two waters, I can just, two H2Os plus AS2O3 plus two protons plus two nitrates, yields to make 2 H3AsO4 plus N2O3. We have one more, and that's in a basic solution. Hydrogen peroxide going to oxygen. Dichlorine heptoxide going to the chlorite polyatomic ion. Let's concentrate our attention on the first of the two reactions, H2O2, making molecular oxygen. The O's are balanced, so I'll add two positive protons to get the H's. And while I'm here, I'll add the two negative electrons to make it electrically balanced. So he's set. Let's go here. Dichlorine, start by doubling the product to get the chlorines to balance. Now we'll move to the oxygens. Seven on the left, 
2 times 2 is 4, so I need 3 more waters. 3 O's plus 4 is 7, so that matches. Let's count H's. 3 times 2 is 6 H's. Let's electrically balance. The left side is at a plus 6. The right side, 2 units of a minus 1 is a minus 2. Think of the number line moving from a negative 2 all the way to a positive 6. It's actually 8 units apart on the number line. To the more positive side, I have to add 8 electrons to bring both sides down to a negative 2 charge. The first half reaction, we have to distribute a 4 and we'll add them back together at the same time. 4 times 2 gives me 8 electrons to match the 8 that were gained in the reduction half reaction. We'll distribute and add at the same time. 4 units of peroxide. Plus 8 electrons. Plus 6 positive protons plus the molecule dichlorine heptoxide. On to the product side. 4 times 1, we have 4 molecular oxygens. 4 times 2 is 8 protons. 4 times 2 is 8 electrons. Down below, 2 chlorite polyatomic ions and 3 waters. What can we simplify? Number of protons. Six on the left can simply cancel, leaving me a remainder of two on the right. Electrons always cancel, or we've messed up. That's it so far. If this were an acid solution, we'd be done. But it's not, it's basic, so there's one additional step. I look to find the number of protons. So the very, very, very last thing I do is neutralize the protons by adding hydroxides to the same, to both sides. So I have to add two groups of the polyatomic ion from the base, hydroxide, to both sides, keeping it balanced. Two hydroxides. Notice now two H's and two OH's, well that's the same as two waters. Let's clean it up and write our final answer. The molecule dichlorine heptoxide, gone, gone, plus four hydrogen peroxide molecules, plus two base ions, two hydroxides, forms four molecular oxygens plus, now notice here's some water and water over here yet, let's combine the total number, two plus three, there's a total of five waters and a ClO2 negative, two units of ClO2 negative, the chloride polyatomic ion, and there is our balanced equation in a basic solution.